If you are watching this video, most probably you're preparing for your WST level 3 in wines course. In our previous video, we gave a quick overview of what to expect from this course. In this video, we'll be going in detail about the theory part of the exam. We'll show you example questions that you can expect to get in this exam and we'll give you tips how to best to prepare to answer them. My name is Peter, I'm a certified WST educator and WST diploma student. So let's start. Theory part of the exam is two hours long and consists of 50 multiple choice answers for which you get maximum of 50 points and four short written answers for which you get maximum of 100 points. In order to pass this exam, you'll need to have minimum of 55% of the available, available points. So your knowledge on the exam will be tested on the five learning outcomes the WSCT defines specifically in their specification guidelines on page eight. So basically this is the knowledge that you will need to have in order to pass the exam. So let's go through the five learning outcomes. Uh, learning outcome number one is to identify the principal natural and human factors in the vineyard and in the winery that are involved in the production of still wines of the world and explain how they can influence the style, quality and price of, and price of these wines. So basically this is the most important learning outcome in order for you to pass the exam because you need to understand and first of all you need to identify these factors and you need to understand them how they affect the style quality and price of these wines and basically then you're gonna use this understanding to identify and explain how they affect the style and quality for the learning outcome two three and four so learning outcome for the still wines sparkling wines and fortified wines example is for example a uh, durinal range is a natural factor uh, in uh, ribera del Duero region in spain that affects the style of wine in that region so if you get a question about uh, ribera del Duero and uh, a natural factor that affects the style of the wine first of all you need to identify that that is a factor in that region you need to explain it how it affects the style of that particular wine. And then the learning outcome five is to demonstrate the ability to provide information and advice to customers and staff about wines. In this learning outcome, you can probably get a question about food and wine pairing advice, uh, which food will go with which wine well, or maybe a question about uh, how to store and serve. On this slide you will see how the marks or points are, all, are allocated per multiple choice questions and also for the short written answers. So multiple choice questions on the left side you'll see the learning outcome that is tested and the points that are available per learning outcome. So for example for learning outcome 1 you have 8 available points. For learning outcome 2, 28. For 3 is 5. For 4 is 5. And for 5 is four so basically we can conclude that the most important and the maximum points that will be available is for learning outcome one and for uh, learning outcome two for the short written answer on the left side you'll see the number of the question and on the, on the right see, right side you will see the learning outcome that will be tested so question number one and question number two will be testing your learning outcome one and two learning uh, question number three will be testing again your learning outcome one two and five and question number four will be testing your basically all learning outcomes tips on how to approach answering the questions on wst level three in wines First of all, you need to understand the level of knowledge that is required and the, and the knowledge that is tested on this exam. Multiple choice questions are here to test your fact recall. This is the type of question that was also used for WST level 2, but for, uh, the difference here for level 3 that the question here are more difficult. For the short written answers, uh, here the WST is testing your knowledge application. So the knowledge that you have, you need to give an explanation for your answers for a certain topic. Uh, manage your time. Uh, 
uh, don't get stuck on questions that you don't right away. Uh, this is uh, basically you, you know, answer all the questions that you feel comfortable, that you know the answer right away. Uh, mark the questions that, uh, that you didn't answer and then come back to them uh, on, the, on the end. Uh, for the multiple choice questions, eliminate the wrong answer. Sometimes you'll not know what's the right answer, but you can come, back, come to the right conclusion because you're going to eliminate the, the wrong answer. Uh, one right answer. Uh, so basically, uh, all the questions that you'll be asked on the multiple choice question will have one right answer. Transfer your question on the answer sheet. So when you come to the exam, you'll have two papers in front of you. One will be your answer sheet where you need to have all your answer, uh, answers put. And the other sheet will be your question uh, sheet. Basically on this question sheet, you can mark the questions. You can, uh, you can write maybe some notes that you need. Uh, this paper is not important for your grade. The, an the answers need to be transferred to the answer sheet. For the short written answer question, uh, probably one of the uh, most uh, mentioned thing, uh, thing uh, for answering properly the, this type of question is to read the question carefully. Sometimes um, candidates don't read the uh, uh, question properly and they start answering questions that were, was not given to them. You're not going to get points for the information that is not relevant to the, to the question. Uh, something that can help you with, uh, you know, reading the question properly and, you know, structuring your answer is to highlight the keywords in the question. So, for example, if they ask you to identify and describe the climate of a certain region, identify and describe the climate. Don't talk about the gray variety if they're not mentioning it in the, in the question. Structure your answer uh, before you uh, before you start answering your question. Maybe you can put you know a notes on the side that will help you you know to structure and focus your answer. Don't think that if you write uh, a lot of words that will bring you a lot of points. Focus on the most important parts that will be basically the keywords in, in the questions. Uh, be short and be to the point. Like I said. Focus on the question that is asked and give just the necessary information that is, that is asked by the exam. So here is an example of a multiple choice question that you can expect on level 3. So the question is, which of the following is closest in style to Sancerre? Potential answers are Vouvray, Bourjoul, Muscadet and Monetou Salon. So the style of Sancerre, we know that, that, uh, that the wine is made from uh, Sauvignon Blanc uh, from a cool climate region. Style is the wine is dry, medium bodied, high acidity, pronounced flavors of green apple, lemon, uh, minerality and grass. So let's see, Vouvray, uh, so let's assume that we don't know what's the right answer and we're gonna use the process of elimination to come to the uh, right conclusion. The problem with this question is that all the regions uh, and styles of the wine are from the same region of Loire. Uh, Vouvray is, uh, is a wine that's made from Chenin Blanc, uh, similar to the style of Sancerre, uh, but uh, Chenin is not really aromatic grape variety, so we'll eliminate this one for now. Uh, B. Bourjoul will eliminate this one right away because we know that Bourjoul makes red wines from Cabernet Franc. Uh, C. Muscadet will eliminate this one because Muscadet is made from a neutral grey variety uh, Melon de Bourgogne. Uh, and then if you can remember that Monetou Salon is a region that's uh, geographically closest to, to Sancerre that's located just uh, west uh, of Sancerre and that it makes white wines from Sauvignon Blanc, uh, then we can conclude that the correct answer is Monetou Salon. So here is another example of a multiple choice question. Which of the following are characteristic of a young Hunter Valley Semillon? High acid, low alcohol and uh, three is aroma of vanilla. So does the wine have 
one and three only, two and three only, one and two only, and one, two, and three. So if we know that Hunter uh, Semillon is a wine that has high acidity and low alcohol and actually needs uh, time uh, for its aromas to develop in the bottle and it's not aged in oak, the correct answer would be C1 and 2 only. So here is an example of a short written answer question. The question is some Chardonnays can have pronounced aromas of hazelnut, sweet spice, toast and vanilla with full body. Identify and describe technique used during winemaking and maturation to achieve this characteristic. Total marks available 5. So let's just make a few things uh, clear here. Total marks available for this kind of question is five. And we said that on the short written answer part of the exam, there's going to be four questions with 25 marks. That means that one question of 25 marks can actually be divided in multiple questions. Some of them will give you different amount of points available. Some will, will be like this, that's five marks. Some questions are, can be very short that can give you only two marks. So don't get surprised when you come to the exam and you have more than four questions. So here is an example of an excellent answer to this question and a less uh, successful answer. So, and here in the question part, I uh, highlighted the words that you need to focus on when you're structuring your answer. Like I said, it doesn't mean that if you write a long answer that you're going to get a lot of points. You're just going to get points on the things that are uh, that you, on which you're questioned. So here your question on a specific style of Chardonnay that has pronounced aromas, has no sweet spice, toast and vanilla and full body. You need to identify and describe the techniques of uh, during the winemaking and maturation that achieves this characteristic. So here if you start talking about the, uh, the Chardonnay as a grape or the, the region, you're not going to get points on that. You need to focus on the winemaking and maturation techniques. So the excellent answer is uh, to produce the pronounced aromas of sweet spice, toast, vanilla and full body. A winemaker will use, will use uh, small oak barrels. Juice can be put in, uh, in the barrels during fermentation and or maturation. Barrels with higher levels of toast and longer time in oak will give you more intensity. Oak uh, also adds tannin to white wines, which increases the body of the wine. So here actually, uh, maybe it's a, uh, even uh, more here you can on this kind of answer, you can maybe even get uh, more, more points, uh, but you will get maximum five. So the points that you'll get is for identifying small, uh, small oak barrels. Uh, that the wine can be put in barrels during and after uh, the maturation. Barrels indicating that the barrels with higher toast levels and longer time in the barrel gives you points. And uh, uh, for us to answer the body of the wine part of the question, uh, you're going to indicate that the uh, spending time in oak adds texture, uh, adds tannin that adds texture to the wine. A less successful answer, uh, one and a half mark here I put, oak barrels can be used both during winemaking and maturation. And here honestly uh, I put one and a half point, maybe you're going to get even just one point for this. They can add a, lot to, uh, uh, add a lot to the wine, this doesn't really mean anything. They can add flavors to the wine which include vanilla sweet spice and toast. So you said a lot of things but you, you didn't actually get any uh, points because you didn't identify and describe the things that are bringing and giving the style that is answer, uh, asked in the question.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you and everything that we talked about today is also in your study guide. So when you get your study pack, make sure you read your study guide. We also made a video on the tasting part of the, of the exam. So make sure you look at uh, that video as well. If you have any questions regarding WSET courses, uh, please make sure to contact us directly. And when you do take your exam, good luck.